overall, Danny, what did you say about how the Lobos responded from losing last week and coming into this game? I mean, we didn't make enough plays on defense. We gave up uh, three big plays in the secondary. And then we got out. I mean, they, they kicked our tail on offense in the second half. The only drive we had at all was the last one there, and we turned the ball over on downs. We killed ourselves with penalties, dead ball penalties. I mean, nine penalties for 79 yards. But the dead ball penalties, the dumb penalties, the one right there on the punt return after we, we punted the ball, the snap issues, that, that's ridiculous. We've got to get that fixed. Um, I mean, we can't, we can't give up plays in the secondary and expect to win, and then we we have opportunities to make plays. Dante Martin had a chance at a pick six. Jared Reed had a chance at a pick six. Those are plays with a difference in the game. And it's a shame, it's too bad, because we lost a lot of momentum uh, in the community. I mean, now we've lost two, we're two and two. We could have been three and one. Give credit to UTEP, they whooped our tail in the second half. I thought we were content at halftime. We gotta, we gotta get over that. We've gotta get over that so we can finish the ball game. You know, it was announced before the game that uh, six players were out due to contact tracing. Um, at what point did you find out about these players? Friday morning. Um, so it is what it is. They're not here. That's, we're dealing with COVID, and so we, we put the guys out there to compete and still should have won the game to give UTEP credit. Um, did you wait intentionally till Thursday to make the announcement as opposed to, get, uh, to try to get some type of advantage? Announcement of what? Of the contact tracing. I did not find out till Friday morning. We didn't know. We did, we did, everybody was at practice on Thursday. And we did not it, know. It was announced Friday then. That, I think we were trying to figure out what was going on. There was no, I mean, we, I knew before we left town, we knew some guys had been contact traced and we're still trying to figure out if they needed to be contact traced. Uh, they did. So there was no point in saying anything at that point. It wasn't going to change practice preparation. There's no advantage. Do you know when you're going to get the sweaters back? Um, I don't. It's all depending upon, we had a, a, cause, a positive test within the program. Um, that contact trace some young men. Um, we're working with the doctors to figure out what that all means. Hopefully they'll be back before Air Force. I don't know how much you can tell me, Danny, but the players that were out, were, do you know if some of them were? I, the, for HIPAA rules, we can't talk about who is who not, who is. Uh, they just weren't available tonight for contact tracing or um, so they, they couldn't play. They could, they're not on the trip. They're not here. I mean, Hypothetically, I guess, if you have those players, what do you think the outcome would be? Yeah. That, that what if doesn't matter. I don't know. We yeah. played with the guys that we played, and we should have won. We, we made too many mistakes in the secondary, and we didn't block them worth a darn, especially in the second half uh, on offense. That didn't change the outcome. Do you think it hurt the offense at all that you missed? missed those no, I mean, it, hurt, it hurts when you have guys that you practice with all week and they don't play on Saturday. For sure it hurts, but there, there's plenty of guys that stepped up. Uh, that had opportunities, and, and I mean, we didn't have anybody out on the offensive line, so we should have blocked them better. Anybody on here? Sam or Spencer, Roger? Danny, the false start penalties that you mentioned, was there anything consistent there that where you guys were having communication issues? Was there anything consistent there with, the, with all the false starts? No, uh, I, I will, we'll have to get that corrected between Kyle and Terry because we were hearing the snap. It wasn't loud in here. We were hearing the snap count over on the sideline, so uh, we've got to we've got to clean that communication up because that's ridiculous. That 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 was it stalled a couple drives, and um, I mean. We just have, we have to fix it. It'll be fixed by next week. Coach, what's going on with the offensive line? It just seems like, I mean, we can't get two yards on a dive play. It seems like a consistent thing with the offensive line, no matter who we're playing. No, I don't. I agree. A combination out there. We ain't blocking them good enough. Um, we ain't running the ball hard enough. And then if you can't run the ball, it's awful hard to set up the pass. So we got to do some things schematically to give them a chance because obviously we're not good enough to just block a man to man. So we'll address that over the next couple days because Air Force is good on defense too. And they'll, they'll, if we just beat, I mean, probably made a bad choice by me. I mean, I'm, I'm not changing, I'm stubborn. I want to be aggressive on fourth down. Uh, we might be better off kicking the field goal, but sooner or later, we got to understand how to make a friggin' first down on fourth and short.
and I thought we were too content at halftime. We're up 13 to three. Uh, we've got to learn how to have an attitude to come out here and, and continue to be aggressive and not just think that everything's going, going good so it's going to continue. They made adjustments we didn't, attitude-wise, and obviously they did a great job on defense uh, because we couldn't run the ball lick. They out physical us, which is really embarrassing. Uh, so we got to continue to we got to continue to get better. It's a shame because we lost some momentum that we had in the community. Go ahead, Spencer. Uh, defensively, uh, outside of those big plays, uh, you held uh, UTEP to very low rushing yards. What did you see defensively that you liked tonight? I mean, we, we tackled okay, but we can't give up plays in the secondary, especially when we're there. I mean, that's why we lost games last year, because we give up big plays over the top. I thought the biggest play in the game and the, game, the play that changed the game was the third and 24 on the first series. If we get off the field, we probably win the game. We don't get pressure on the quarterback. We give up a long pass by the secondary. Uh, that one, that one is more an issue up front because you can't cover them forever. The two long plays, the touchdown. Uh, we don't play it correctly. We get picked. If we play it correctly, we probably don't get picked. They should have called it, but if whatever, they don't call it. And then the other, uh, the one down here at the end of the fourth quarter, when we got a chance to get off the field and let them punt it uh, on the very first play, they throw a deep ball that we're in great coverage and don't make a play. We have to get better in the secondary and make those plays because that's the difference in the game. I mean, we played good enough on defense uh, the rest of the time, but we can't give up play. We won't win games, especially if the offense is struggling. So we've got to address that. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm disappointed because the two opportunities we had on defense to change the game, Dante Martin dropped a pick six in the first quarter and Jarek Reed dropped one in the fourth quarter. That'll be the difference. We'll win the game if they can make those two plays. Either one of them makes the play. So we got to, that's an attitude and we got to make it. We got to finish it. And it's still somewhat early in the season, you know, conference play coming up now, but there have been times early on where the, the guys that had some success were rushing three or even four. It seemed like a lot more aggressive tonight. But what, what went into that as far as maybe what you saw with UTEP and, and what did they do in the second half to be able to uh, beat that pressure a little bit more? Well, they, it was, they completed three balls is what they did. I mean, they, we still hit the quarterback. We still got after him. Uh, we've got to make a play in the secondary. And some of that comes with recruiting. Some of that comes with getting better. Uh, same thing with up front. We've got to get better up front. I'm, I'm really disappointed because I thought we'd be better at this point in the season than we were, than we are. So we've got to coach them better. Um, I mean, we're, we're, we're playing terrible on offense. We've got to fix it. Was there any thought to you to pulling Terry to go with anybody else the last couple of drives. It looked, it looked like he was he was struggling a little bit with the leg. No, Terry Terry's our quarterback. He was they they told they told me he was healthy. Um, he was running around fine on that last drive, so I, it wasn't his knee. Um, it probably was hurting, but that wasn't the that wasn't the difference. He gives us the best chance to be successful. Thank you. Anything else? You got anything, Jared? Bethany? You're on mute, Jared. No, thank I'm, I'm good, Coach. Thank you. I just came in. I didn't hear anything. I just wanted to, I don't know if you talked about the offensive line performance. Um, did you talk about that earlier? Yeah, they, they, we, got our, we got our tail whooped in the second half. We didn't protect Terry worth a darn until the last series. We didn't run the ball. We couldn't run the ball at all, so give UTEP credit, but we've got to get better on offense. We've got to fix it. I mean, if we can't just block people, then schematically we've got to get them a better chance uh, because we, we lost a game that – we shouldn't have, and that's uh, that's coaching. So we got to fix it. Now is Joey Noble okay, coach? I know she came out. Uh, shoulders hurting him, but he he finished the game. Uh, they we were rotating rotating those guys up front. It was a physical game. We were playing with four D linemen for when they had their big personnel in, and that was part of the rotation.